Laboratory is still working a bit on CRISPR-Cas9 mm -hmm. <laughs> and CRISPR-Cas in general. Uh, but in my laboratory, we are mainly interested in understanding different types of regulatory mechanisms that allow to understand how bacteria cause diseases in humans. Mm -hmm. We focus mainly on Streptococcus pyogenes and we are interested in, in pathways that involve regulatory RNAs and regulatory proteins. Yeah, and in my case, uh, uh, two things. We're, we're working on trying to uncover the, the, the fundamental mechanisms of these RNA-guided uh, editing proteins like CRISPR-Cas9, but there are other ones now as well, so we're uh, trying to figure out how they work in cells uh, at, a, at a very detailed molecular level. And the other thing we're doing is uh, we're, we're, we're very interested in figuring out how we can deliver these molecules into human cells, because I think for, for this to be a, an, an effective therapeutic someday, that's a key bottleneck that we have to, a key problem that we have to solve. And so I've been uh, working with clinical scientists at UC San Francisco, which is right across the bay from my university at UC Berkeley, to figure out how to deliver these editing molecules into the brain. And we're having some exciting uh, progress there, so I'm, I'm really uh, hopeful that this this uh, challenge of delivery will eventually be, uh, be met.